Whitening teeth is another industry standard Photoshop technique that portrait photographers need to know. Now this photo overall kind of has a yellowish tint to it anyway, so her teeth uh, aren't necessarily the same color as this. It might have been the camera settings, the white balance settings, but this is a good example of where we could actually whiten the teeth and make them a lot, a lot whiter uh, after the fact. So, so go ahead and open up smile.jpg and for this technique, we're going to use an adjustment layer, and then we're going to mask out part of that adjustment layer. So click on the bottom of the layers panel. It looks like a circle that's half shaded in. And we're going to choose hue saturation. Or of course, you could go to layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, either way. So on our adjustment layer, it's going to apply these effects to the layer below it. And what we're going to do is instead of up here where it says master, we need to set that to yellows. It just kind of has yellowish tint to it. Bring saturation all the way to the left. All right, that really pops out, um, makes those teeth a lot lighter. We can also bring lightness over to the right. I mean, all the way to the right would really make them pop out, but we can bring them up to about plus 50 or so somewhere around there, plus 60, somewhere around there. The problem though is the teeth look great now, nice and white and bright, uh, but the rest of the photo got affected as well. The cool thing is if I click out of that, and this is a live effect, so if I double click it, choose yellows again, you can see the effect is still there and I can adjust it. These adjustment layers come with a mask so set the foreground color to black right here and press alt backspace and that mass out the entire adjustment layer so now it's not affecting that layer below it we want it to affect the layer but only selectively only in certain areas so set the foreground color to white so we're going to flip that again and then choose a nice soft edge brush choose the brush tool Make sure hardness is set to 0%. You could also have the hardness up a little bit, really depending on your photo. If you're using this one, 0% is fine. If you get to the edge, you need a little bit harder edge, we can adjust it. But we want to zoom in, so press Control or Command Plus, so Control on the PC, Command on the Mac. And we're going to just paint in some white right here. And remember, we can left and right bracket. And I can make a selection as well if I wanted to get really precise uh, and make a feathered selection. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to click. This is actually looking pretty good for the most part. And we can adjust this, this look after the fact. So if you think the look is too strong and it doesn't blend well with everything else, we can adjust the opacity of this adjustment layer itself. I'm going to press left bracket and get these teeth down here as well. Left bracket makes the brush smaller on the fly. All right, so that's pretty good. Oh, messed up a little bit. I'm going to press X, that flips them, so now my foreground's black. X again, foreground's white. All right, I'm going to press Control on the PC or command on the Mac and minus. And there we go. We have some nice white and teeth. Now if you think it's, you know, this overall photo has a yellow hue to it, so it doesn't really look right. Well, you can adjust the opacity. If you if you alt click this mask, by the way, here, it'll show your mask. If if we miss some areas, we can paint them in. Alt click it again or option click it on the Mac. Uh, but this opacity of the top, let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit. So it just blends a little bit more with the original layer maybe about 70%. And there we go, that's a quick and effective way to whiten teeth.